Good Thursday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with, again, a fairly quiet forecast, although we do have some more rain chances coming our way as we get into Friday. A few sprinkles across portions of the area this morning. We're going to be seeing, again, that potential for rainfall head back up again as we go into and around Friday afternoon. So if you have any plans for Friday night football, heading out in the town, dinner and a movie, whatever you've got tomorrow, that's where we may see the possibility of some more showers out there. If you've never been here before, welcome. Welcome to our video weather blog, a chance for you to ask questions about the forecast. If you've got any, we cover the areas. For those of you who have never tuned in to News Channel 3 before, we were around eastern Arkansas, west Tennessee, north Mississippi, with Memphis, Tennessee, right there in the middle of everything. If you can't stick around for the whole weathercast, forecast information in the red bar at the bottom of your screen. You can catch our 7 to 10 day forecast here at this website at wreg.com slash weather. If you'd like to drop your location and your weather reports into the comments section below. Give us uh, temperature, wind speed, wind direction, cloud cover, any rainfall from last night, of which there was some, but not a lot out there. We'd love to know more about where you're checking in from, and we'll read off those weather reports as we go throughout the rest of our netcast. Also, if you've got weather pictures, we would love to see those as well. You can tweet them to me, or you can email them to me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Some great pictures from yesterday as a part of a cloud layer collapses. And that motion winds up called what is what is called a hole punch cloud. We'll show you some of the pictures of that coming up here in just a little bit. So stay tuned for more on that in just a few minutes. Cool this morning and into this afternoon. Temperatures will be just a little bit below where they were yesterday and well below where they should be for this time of the year. Temperatures for this time of the year, again, should be in the mid-70s. For average high temperatures, we are going to be way below that in the lower to mid-60s throughout the rest of the day today. So we're continuing to see those dry and cool conditions out there. Avery Nellum, 49 degrees, mostly sunny in Ripley. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Everybody else checking in uh, for this morning and across the Mid-South and points beyond. Rest of the day today, again, seeing a few of those clouds out there blocking out the sun from time to time. will be just about where we were yesterday, if not just a little bit lower than that back in the lower 60s, and then low temperatures tomorrow morning expected to go back into the mid to upper 40s for low temperatures. Not bad for this time of the year. Back into around Great Smoky Mountains National Park from Purchase Knob. A lot of the colors of autumn starting to show up nicely in the foliage out there and some fog and low clouds down into the valleys between the peaks out there. Back a little closer to home, sunrise, a light, a little bit more intense around the Ole Miss campus. Students out and about for this morning and a little bit of rain fall east of Oxford. Some of those clouds out there because of that. Looking at some of those clouds sticking around, some clearing skies back to the northwest from the Rhodes College weather underground camera into around central Memphis for this morning. So again, a little bit of cloud cover out there, starting to clear out by just a little bit. From Memphis International Airport, partly cloudy skies, delays of 15 minutes or less, so everything appears to be moving along quite nicely at Memphis International. Likewise, across the continental United States, no major delays being reported due to weather or ground stop programs or anything like that. Information courtesy of the Federal Aviation Administration. We'll feature this on our website as well as we get the information about anything that might be a bit of a slowdown. Right at the peak of rush hour, just past 8 o'clock Thursday morning, and again, traffic is moving in all directions around 2.40 in Poplar for this morning. Corey Ventura will have more on traffic coming up in just a little bit. Very good news out there. Just dry enough to where we have little, if anything, in the way of fog across the Mid-South. So definitely good news for that one into and around the area. So no problems there. Likewise, on Storm Tracker 3S, we're not picking up anything in the way of precipitation across much of the area. So thank you very much uh, to everybody else for checking on through. Anna Hunter, love the weather for work in the yard. You know, you've got about 24 hours before that's going to come to an end, but we'll talk about that in the forecast uh, in just a little bit. Welcome to everybody else who's checking in from across the area. You can check in with Storm Tracker 3S Radar. Again, go to our weather page at wreg.com slash weather and check in with the live radar page section there. Temperatures on WeatherNet 3 were back in the mid to upper 40s. These are the coolest numbers across the Mid-South just past 8 a.m. And winds occasionally breezy, but not doing too bad out there. So maybe a bit of a wind chill from time to time. 47 at the airport in Dyersburg. Northeast winds at 8. That's taking your wind chills in Dyersburg down to about the mid to upper 30s, at least briefly. 
that should not be sticking around for the rest of the day. Currently into the tropics, we're not seeing a lot going on at this point in time with, again, less activity into around the Gulf of Mexico and back into the Caribbean and not seeing anything else across the area. So definitely some good news on that. Excuse me for one second here. My computer appears to be having some hiccups, so we've got to go back here for just a moment. Sometimes that happens from time to time. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, here we go. Into the rest of the day today, again, we'll be looking for temperatures rising by lunchtime into about the upper 50s to lower 60s. Clouds kind of coming and going across the area, so we don't have a lot of pure sunshine out there, but we could see, again, more chances of cloud cover than anything else throughout the course of the rest of the day today. And temperatures, again, for this time of the year, right about the time you pick the kids up from school and get ready to head home from work, will be back in the lower to mid-60s. A little bit cooler than what we saw yesterday, but not by much. Thanks, everybody, for joining us this morning. Again, if you're just tuning in, put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to good use and give us a weather report from wherever you happen to be. Temperature, rain gauge, wind information, sky cover. Let's see some weather reports out there and do some amateur meteorology and we'll keep you updated on what people are saying. Through tonight, News Channel 3 at 10 and afterwards back in the upper 40s to lower 50s. By dawn patrol tomorrow, chances of rain just west and north of the News Channel 3 viewing area, but it's going to take most of the rest of the day for that rainfall to overspread the Mid-South and go a little bit farther back toward the west. So again, that's going to be or back from west to east, I should say, out there. And again, through the rest of the weekend, we actually should be dry coming up into the course of the next several days. Now today, again, back in the lower 60s, not bad, no rainfall seen. Tomorrow we should start off rain-free, but then we get into the possibility of some more showers as we head into the afternoon and evening. So again, outdoor activities, that's where we're going to see the main problems. Now that rain will last into Saturday, but before you go canceling any outdoor plans, it looks like all that rainfall is going to be just past about midnight and before we hit around dawn patrol Saturday morning. So during the day on Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday, we should be seeing some very good conditions for outdoors. Now on Sunday, new push of cool air moves into the area. So highs on Sunday will only make the mid to upper 50s. Low temperatures Monday morning could drop into the upper 30s around the metro area. North of I-40, there could be some patchy frost forming across portions of the Mid-South. So outdoor vegetation, flowers, your garden that you want to protect. If you're north of I-40, start planning ahead for that because that could be a problem into the next couple of days. Along I-40 and to the south of the metro area, we should just see temperatures chilly but not frosty. We'll keep you updated on that throughout the rest of the week and into the weekend. Good morning to everybody checking in. If the weather's looking good around your area, let us know what the weather's like out there, and we'll read those weather reports out to everybody in the comments section. Rest of the forecast through the rest of October not much is going to be changing. This is what we call persistence forecasting, to where a lot does not change in a longer period of time. So things don't really go up or down on the temperatures too much. No major heat waves, no big cool downs. Yes, we have that on Sunday, but that's not an extended cold burst across much of the area. So yes, there is that possibility of frost as we go into Sunday night, Monday morning. Also, the kids at the bus stop are going to need to have some protection out there as well. So please remember that into the rest of the forecast there, but otherwise cool and dry. If everything holds for the rest of October, hopefully Halloween is going to be looking pretty good so the ghosts and goblins will not have to have the umbrella with them as they head out to do their trick-or-treating rounds out there as we head throughout the next few days. Coming up later on tonight, if you live around the area of Hendersonville or Henderson, Tennessee, in the council chambers for Chester County, at the Council Chambers on 121 Crook Avenue. There's going to be a meeting from the National Weather Service. It's going to be a Skywarn Spotter training session meeting. It'll be the last one for this week. We've got about maybe half a dozen more of them coming up over the next several days and weeks. This is because at this time of the year, between about roughly late October and mid-December, we can get the changing of the seasons, warm air coming up from the Gulf of Mexico as very cold air cuts down from Canada. Mix those two together with the right conditions and you can have some of the nastiest weather that is possible for this area at this time of the year. Thanksgiving, Christmas, we've had severe weather. We've had tornadoes. Don't believe me? Ask the people who live around Houston High School what they saw back in the early 90s. And again, we can get some pretty monster-sized storms coming through here. So now is the time to get ready for this, and these meetings will help you do that. They're called Skywarn. 
And again, they're for Skywarn Volunteer Storm Spotters. It's not a chase course. That's something completely different, and you do not chase storms unless you have been highly trained by experts. Do not do it. It's not worth it. Not worth it to get somebody else's life uh, in jeopardy because you don't know what to do or how to properly chase storms. But if you would like to spot for storms, the National Weather Service could use your help. And if you'd like to know more, this is the place to be for tonight. We'll bring you more of these meetings coming up as we go throughout the course of the next several days and weeks. Some nice views from yesterday in and around parts of West Tennessee, and we've gotten more of these pictures throughout the rest of the morning. You have the temperatures of the cloud cover several thousand feet up can be just below freezing, but liquid water can exist in a state called being super cool. The temperature will be below freezing, but yet the water droplets in the clouds will remain liquid. Now, it only takes a pulse of energy going through the atmosphere or maybe just something like a, a airplane piercing that cloud layer to jostle those water Water molecules have them turn to ice and then they succumb to gravity and fall out of the sky. What you're seeing here, as brought to us by News Channel 3 viewer JP Rockin around Drummond's Tennessee yesterday, is called a fall streak hole or a hole punch cloud. It happens from time to time. There's nothing magical about it. There's not aliens involved in it. Sorry, conspiracy theorists. There's just nothing like that around here for that. It's just the physics of the atmosphere. And not only did was it seen here, it was also seen around Arlington, Tennessee. Thanks to viewer Sherry W. for catching another view of that fall streak hole around Arlington, Tennessee. And we've gotten a couple more views of this from around the Mid-South. Didn't have time to put them together for this display, but we'll be showing those on social media later on. So a cool atmospheric phenomenon to take a look at. Not so cool down around the Mexico Beach, Florida area, as we see some of the damage from Arkansas SEC 73 federal officer watching what goes on down there. This view from Tyndall Air Force Base and some of the massive amounts of damage being seen there. Uh, cleanup going to be taking months at this time. They're still searching for casualties. Uh, as the cleanup continues and just getting basic services online is going to take a long time to get that accomplished. So right now, things not looking all that good down there as the cleanup continues to kind of lag behind schedule. If you've got weather pictures, we'd love to see them. Tweet them to me. Email them to me. Let us see what you're seeing out there so we can feature them on our netcast like this. We'd love to see more about that. Aonic underscore WREG3. My Facebook page, my Instagram page, and of course you can find me again on all these social media networks as well out there if you'd like to send your pictures along. Again, rest of the day today should be looking at some pretty quiet conditions. By mid-afternoon, temperatures back into the lower to mid-60s only. Should be again some pretty quiet conditions out across much of the rest of the mid South. Tim Simpson is on vacation today, so News Channel 3's Jim Jaggers will be taking over for the forecast coming up on News Channel 3 first at 4. If you've got friends or loved ones serving in the United States military, join me just before 11 o'clock this morning, and we'll talk more about whether where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones anywhere around the world, we'll take a look at some select locations where the troops are serving at various outposts and locations. We've got some new ones, including Camp Bonsteel in and around the former Yugoslavia, and a couple of posts around Japan, around Okinawa and close to Tokyo. And we'll go up to South Korea, around Iraq, around Afghanistan, Guantanamo Bay, and back here to the Mid-South, the naval support activities as well. So if you'd like to take a look at that, we'll have more details on that coming up as we go into the course of the next couple of days. Stephen Shegog, cooler than normal, really question mark yes really exclamation point believe it or not we'll be seeing some much cooler conditions out there as we go into the course of the next couple of days very good question thank you for that and welcome to everybody else who's checking in randy adams 61 sunshine and a little breezy in hattiesburg mississippi haven't been down that way in about 10 years thank you very much for that o pruitt mike mitchell uh good morning from red banks mississippi thank you very much for joining us and gary Barger, hope I'm saying that right. Favorite kind of weather. Glad to hear that. Thanks to everybody for checking in out there. Another couple of updates coming up at 825 and 855 on News Channel 3 Live. And of course, I'll have more coming up on News Channel 3 Live at 9, starting again at 9 o'clock. And on News Channel 3 at noon, I'm in for the vacationing Todd Demers this week. 
He'll be back later on next week on News Channel 3, early in the morning on Monday of next week. And, of course, don't forget Jim Jaggers has more on your forecast tonight starting on News Channel 3, first at 4. Join me again for another update coming up just about 11 o'clock on Weather Overtime Late Edition and a lot more coming up throughout the rest of the week and into the weekend on News Channel 3 on air and online. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik for our early edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thank you for joining us this morning and stick around for a lot more throughout the rest of the day on News Channel 3.